are any roster moves or lineup at this moment? Um, yeah, so Tarpley and CC uh, will take the place of Wade and uh, Higashioka. Uh, no lineup yet. Um, uh, Jay Happ will pitch tomorrow. Tanaka will go in game two. Other questions? All right, Ken. Aaron, beyond your home run back in 03, what do you remember about that, that week, the, the intensity? And I'm curious, did you watch the 04 ALCS at all? I think I watched quite a bit of the 04. Um, um, obviously, uh, you know, remember to some degree the, the comeback and everything, but, you know, don't remember it more like a normal uh, postseason that you kind of kind of watch casually. Um, the, the week of 03, you're asking, um, you know, I remember when I, I kind of shaped in my mind that uh, momentum. I kind of throw out the window in, in this thing because it, it felt like every time, you know, obviously in, in those years, both teams were so good and one team would kill the other team one day and you think, oh, here we go. And the next day it would just the, the other team would answer back. And in a lot of ways, you know, our series this year during the regular season has played out a little bit that way. Um, there's been some lopsided games. <clears throat> um, obviously, they beat us up here um, this summer in that four game series, but otherwise it's been a little back and forth like that. Uh, Brian, Ken, if you want to pass it to him. Thanks. Aaron, what do you think? Jay Hop has had a lot of success against the Red Sox. What do you think it is about him that allows him to succeed against that team? Um, well, I mean, Jay's a really, really good accomplished pitcher. Um, but ultimately it comes down to, especially for him because he's, you know, relies so heavily on the fastball, the ability to command it, um, the ability to, you know, especially when you're as, as a left-handed starter where you know you're going to be facing a lot of right-handed hitters. Uh, when you pitch with your fastball, you've got to be able to get it in. Um, he's able to do that. Um, He's able to elevate it. Um, you know, he's got that little bit of life on his fastball that plays up a little more, especially when he's locating it. Um, so I would say that's the biggest thing is <clears throat> he can command and repeat uh, pitches with his fastball to, to some good right-handed hitters. And to your left, Aaron, Dave. Aaron, you've had a good season with the uh, 100 wins. And do you think this right now is kind of the best version of the team that you've had over the course of the whole season just because of the health factor and adding McCutcheon and the bullpen being ready. I mean, you could say that it, it's kind of at the peaking at the right right time. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we feel really good about where we are. And, you know, for, especially for much of the second half, obviously dealing with different injuries and guys being down. Um, you know, it's arguably as whole as we've been all season long. And, and, at, and with the additions that we're able to make, we feel like uh, – we're a really good club right now. Um, you know, we we played pretty well down the stretch the last week or ten days or so when we needed to play well, and obviously got off to a good start. Um, you know, last night, um, but I, I think the guys are in a good place, are in a good frame of mind, and, and are playing with some confidence. Do you, do you think one last one? Do you think that playing that extra game can actually help in some ways in kind of energizing a team? always a physical I just wanted to kind of win you guys had last night. Yeah. Well, look, I think there's a benefit in playing the fact that, you know, that final week of the season, you know, we were still playing for a lot and, and playing against tough competition and going to Tampa and having to deal with them and then having to come here um, and then playing, obviously, a winner go, go home last night where, where there's a lot on the line. Um, um, I think there is some benefit to that um, in, in – being in those games, playing in meaningful games, playing with a lot on the line each and every day. Um, hopefully that's something that serves us well. Uh, to your right, Aaron, right here. I can't remember a time there were four talented teams like this in the American League playoffs. It just each each could win the World Series, and I think no one would be surprised. But only one of those franchises has 27 World Series. Is it one of those years where it's World Series or bust for you guys? Is the season a failure if you don't win the World Series or given the circumstances of the talent around you? Right. Change matters? You know what? I, I don't even define it like that. 
you know, at the end of all this, I'm sure we'll look back and reflect on a lot of things, and, and hopefully, you know, we're doing that at the end of the month. But right now, you're just kind of living it and, and in the grind of it and in the preparation of it each and every day and each and every series. Um, I'm certainly aware, as, as I'm sure all the other teams are, of any of these teams are capable of being great and, and capable of doing some special things. So, um, but you also relish that. You, you know that you've got to be at your best if you're going to win a series against any of these teams remaining in the American League. So, um, but what it all means and defining this and that, again, that's something I, I'd leave to you guys and something that's for reflection at, when, when, when it's all over. Mark. Given how Dellen struggled down the stretch last year and at the beginning of this year, how important was it to get him back to being his old self? And how much do you think last night helps him being able to come in and do what he did in a, in a game, you know, win or go home game? Well, as I talked a lot early in the season, even when he had a couple of hiccups, um, I felt like he was in a really good place uh, mentally um, and just just with his delivery and how he was throwing the ball. And, and that manifested itself during the season. Um, it's huge for us because he's so talented. Um, you know, he's he's capable when he's on top of his game of, of dominating really good hitters. And obviously him, you know, with what he went through last year, um, for him to go out last night and kind of be the first man out of the pen in a huge situation and come in and just be on point and dominate um, – is hopefully something that will be a little springboard for him into this postseason. I know um, I'm proud of the effort that he gave, but I'm not surprised either because I feel like he's been in a really good place um, really all season long for us. Coley. Uh, given that this is Giancarlo's first postseason, when he has a moment like that last night, what can that do to springboard him as he gets going into the rest of the postseason? Yeah, we've seen his <clears> – <throat> I, I think is that bat quality over the last week, ten days, really tick up too. Um, you know, he's been he's been taking his walks, um, having better, consistent at bats, and then to really clear one last night. Um, you know, I think what's been so impressive about G is just his focus and his intent and his purpose from the day he showed up in spring training about you know kind of the mission he's on and just kind of the his professionalism and his focus day in and day out, no matter what the result was of that day, has been really, really something um, that's been admirable, the way he's gone about his business and the kind of teammate he's been. So um, to see him go out in that kind of atmosphere last night at Yankee Stadium, um, you know, and have, have results, uh, was pretty, pretty cool to see. We have three more, starting with Anthony. Aaron, uh, the kind of night that Sanchez had defensively last night, does that give you even more confidence in him going forward? Um, yeah. I mean, but, you know, I've talked to you guys a lot about that question, obviously, over the last couple of weeks. And, and as I've said, I feel like there's been so much good back there that um, I've felt like he's been very close to – kind of having that complete game last night and we saw it last night i mean he he was absolutely a factor in in helping contain and hold down a really good oakland um offense and um i felt like just the look he had from the time he got to the ballpark yesterday to really diving in with the game plan and and with Sevy, i thought they were clicking and and it, it's it's a huge factor for us and and really important for us um that he plays at a high level behind the plate if we're going to get to where we want to go. And, and I feel he's capable of that, and I, I feel like he got off to a great start. Now Sweeney and then George. Aaron, you defensed very early last night for Andujar. Was that at all a product of the two plays he made, or can you see yourself doing it early enough in a game the rest of the way here? No, it was more um, kind, of the, kind of the plan, you know, last night as far as – you know, if we had gotten to a certain point in the game and had a lead, it kind of just played out and he had hit, um, you know, and we hadn't had to make any other moves. So so put Netch in there and then, you know, having Walker behind, if if, if something went awry, you needed a hitter. Um, we just felt like in, a, in that situation where we had a little bit deeper bench for the wild card scenario, um, felt like we were going to be a little bit aggressive with that. Um, so... That's kind of one of those things that 
you may see it some nights, middle, later part of the game. You may not see it, um, but less to do about about those plays. Could you do it as early without as deep a bench? Uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, the, the game will kind of dictate that and where we are in the lineup, score, uh, when guys hit, all those things, who's in the pen. Just there's a lot of factors that go into to me making that kind of call. I'll take a last one from George. Aaron, uh, considering your travel problems this uh, past season, what was the delay today? <laughs> Slow moving train. I actually drove up, so I was here. Um, but I guess it was a pretty slow-moving train to just kind of, yeah, add to the uh, travel adventures of the 2018 Yankees. 